Greetings and welcome to episode 22 of my Empire Total War Darth Mod Spain campaign and this my friends that we left it last time where we've been involved in a terrific fight here we really have with the Austrians my friends but let's just quickly recap let's summarize what has happened now as you can see we have pushed very very aggressively here within the Mediterranean here we have Sardinia we have Corsica we have all of uh, sort of the spine here, the central part of Italy, including Rome, which is the central hub here of sort of the Spanish administration of, of Italy. We also have here Liguria or Genoa, or Genoa. We also have Venice, very, very hard fought. We've even got Croatia and, my friends, look at this here, at the council's behest, remember, this campaign has been driven primarily by the council here and what they have um, sort of advised and sort of proposed and we are now at the very vanguard here of taking Vienna we haven't taken it yet we mustn't take we mustn't assume anything yet this is not a foregone conclusion yet because it, we, there will be a strong resistance here for taking Vienna but why have we moved in so aggressively against the Austrians here when we are quite clearly under a number of attacks here by the Austrians? As you can see, they moved through the Alps here to try and take Venice. Look at that. And this army took an absolute thrashing as, uh, outside Venice. But we held, we pushed back a sizable Austrian force here. As you can see, this is the remnants of the force that was used to try and wrestle Venice after us. Now, the Austrians have been trying to take Venice from us since we took the city from them or since we took it from the Venetian should I say and they have wanted to take this city off us for a long long time they've thrown vast amounts of forces and indeed munitions and money against us to try and take this we've held steadfast no matter what the amount of odds against us and they really have this as you can see this army now is becoming quickly becoming a real veteran battle hardened uh, combat army it really has been through the mire the mud and the blood here around Venice but we've held here, we are now currently replenishing, bringing reinforcements, bringing brand new munitions, as you can see here. We must hold Venice. It is strategically and tactically vitally important here. If Venice was to fall, it would probably unhinge the entire northern front here, which means we'd have to retreat across in back into central Italy. You'd probably hold a, a, a line along here, losing Bologna here as a sort of the, the key anchor here on this flank here, and having to hold open this bridge here, this one bridge way in here. As you can see, the river splits Venice and central Italy apart. The only way in for the Austrians, because they can't come through uh, France here, we are actually allied with France, and again, the council proposed that we get in alliance with France because they are very very strong on this flank as you can see the, the French have a massive amount of forces in Milan and also in Cremona here as well so as you can see we are not anything to be sniffed at at all now they have come under significant pressure from the Dutch as you can see the Dutch Empire has expanded rapidly here it really has right on to Prague now they've taken most of Austrian holdings here. They've and have been they've been in a brutal war as we have with the Austrians, and because of this sort of pincer movement, we haven't coordinated any of the military uh, movements together. We've sort of just found ourselves operating within the same theatres at the same time. But as the council said, do not allow the, the Dutch to take Prague, uh, Vienna, I beg your pardon. Don't allow them to take Vienna. You must. It must be under Spanish control because otherwise, what will happen is the Dutch will then sort of have a very strong sort of uh, anchor and availability open access into our lands here because of course all we've got here in the sort of the advance guard here is Croatia Zagreb a uh, fine fine uh, region indeed and giving us a lot of options here we've got Weaver's Cottage we've got vin vin vineyards we've got a, a, a major port we've got a fishing, fishing port one up here we've got farms it does stretch very very close here to the Ottoman Empire here but again we've got trade and we've got good relations with the Ottomans so it shouldn't be too much of a problem for us as you can see here we're also aligned with the Poles who were again also fighting the Austrians so the Austrians have come under a significant amount of pressure from a number of nations but as you can see here we mustn't allow the Poles or the Dutch to really take Vienna, it must be under Spanish control, so we at least are able to hold a very strong forward line here, to give ourselves a buffer zone that we really do need here um, as you can see, they still have Stuttgart and they still have uh, Hungary here as well so that's going to be a significant problem for us to deal with in the, in the future, and they've also I believe they're also attacking Bavaria Let's have a look at Bavaria, who oh, they're at war with. No, the trade partners are Austria, so it must be somebody else attacking Bavaria here. 
They could be the Dutch, but I'm not sure. But they imagine they're not at war with the Dutch. But they've got, I think Stuttgart was retaken by the Austrians from the Dutch. And also, I believe that Brussels was also retaken from the Dutch by the French. Um, the French have become slightly resurgent here. They didn't lose Paris. They actually held on to Paris quite well there. We've got the Swedes, as you can see here in the north, absolutely rampant here. They really have taken most of Russian Russian territories shrunk down to sort of the Urals here. I mean, Poland have got Moscow, which is just absolutely, absolute insanity, to be honest with you. But then again, the Russians have moved into Galicia here and also Moldovia. Um, we do have a very strong presence here within the Mediterranean, as you can see here. Tunis is actually now controlled by France and allies. So between our allies here, we've got Mediterranean pretty much locked down here. But our main problem is our lack of ships available to ourselves. As you can see, our fleets are not of the finest. Uh, we do have some Spanish heavy war galleons, which are absolutely fantastic ships. They really are. Look at that. Absolute firepower 363. A real brute upon the seas here. But... We are allied with Portugal, but many of the council are calling for us to take Portugal and bring it under Spanish rule here to give ourselves this additional port here, um, but also to give ourselves additional, I would say, the additional production and also the the closeness it has to the sort of the new world in terms of the short distance we have to travel, if the ferry troops and supplies, munitions, etc. Once we move into the new world proper. But you can see we've got a lot to, to sort out here and we're still trying to rebuild and bring up all the regions we have here uh, to maximize the potential of profit. We've actually got 15,167 here, 15,000 in total income, 22,000 here from trade. Trade is effectively paying for our army upkeep. Our naval upkeep is pretty low at the moment. Our tax income really does need to be boosted significantly. We're at war with of course the Plains Nations, Dagestan, Pirates and Austria got a lot of trade partners three very strong allies particularly Poland and France here so between us we've sort of managed to squeeze in the Austrians but it's it does it does say a lot about the Austrians they've managed to hold out thus so far against three real behemoths here titans ourselves included so as you can see we've got a lot to do they've still got a very powerful navy here which we don't have any response to whatsoever um, but it's five five turns here, five years until we can really move into here. Um, 3851 here. And we're going to have a lot of foreign occupational problems here. Let's move in. Nearly 10,000 regional wealth. They do have mining here, but of course the mining stretches here into the gold mines all the way along here. So that's going to be a real problem for us here because this, this region is pressed up against the Alps here and it really does sort of squeeze in a lot of the things we have access to well, both economically here are going to be very vulnerable we can't really I suppose we could move an army and try and take Stuttgart here using and moving through our own territory here but still that will be a problem in the long run but our main problem to deal with here is bringing Vienna under our control and also as you can see here my friends at the gain of the council's behest we have an army here ready to move in against either Portugal or to move into the new world. Many of the council are calling for us to move into the new world. We do have Jamaica, Santa uh, Santa Domingo, and we also have Cuba under our control. A firm grip here. Many are calling for us to take Texas from the Pueblo nations here. So we've got the spy here. So that army will either be used to take out the Pueblo nations here and bring Texas. Many have been calling for us to bring New Spain under our under our control. Um, so that we can gain that mass of territory there. But again, we're not protectorates. They are an independent nation now, the New, New Spain. And therefore, it would mean a full-scale invasion of our prior or previous protectorate. Um, pirates still active. Mind you, the Ottomans do have the Windward Islands here. Pirates still active. We, do ha did, we did have to send in a fleet here to deal with it. As you can see, when our finest admirals has moved into the region here to help protect the trade lines here. As you can see we've got a quite a, a very very good trade coming in, in and out of um, these three three islands here. Uh, Britain has just exploded here on the, in, the, in, the, in the North American continent here. I mean it just it is grabbing all everything up here including the 13 colonies as part of its territorial reach. Um, I'm not sure who they're at war with. That's a quick they're at war with France and they're at war with New Spain so that's going to pose a problem for us in the future. If if Britain moves against New Spain and starts to take the new, um, the new World South America here, 
then that means we're going to have to launch a significant, a significant operation against the British, um, primarily probably moving against Britain itself. But as you can see, they are well prepared here. They do have some substantial units, including a fleet. Not the finest fleet, especially with just these Dow here, but still, we have to be very, very wary of what we're doing here. But our main priority is going to be Vienna. We need to make sure we have this buffer zone, this forward operating base here, so the Dutch don't get it. But we must prevent the Dutch from taking Vienna. Not because we're looking for war or a fight with them, but we just need to have this buffer zone for ourselves. Which means we can then, hopefully, move this army out and operate against the Austrians here, striking for Stuttgart. Maybe bring that under control for ourselves. Let's end the... Let's have a kind of research here, what we're doing here. We've got... I believe that's Puddle Furnaces. It is Puddle fur Puddling Furnace. We've also got here, which we are getting, Field Marshal Louisiana Infantry here, which is going to give us... Reorganized procurement, yeah, reorganized procurement. We've also got fire in advance for some reason. I'm not sure why that is. We, by the we got a carcass shot. We don't need fire in advance. I think we probably get, get a carcass shot because that moves down a quick line. So I think what we will do is we'll change this for carcass shot here. And then we've got pretty much everything. The threshing machine is going to be a long way off, that is. I think we can end the turn here, my friends. Let's have a quick look. As many of you know, our monarch is basically a buffoon, as you can see here. And only because we have some wonderful cabinet ministers are we able to offset his complete lack of any advantage at all. This gentleman, or should I say this, our monarch here, this king, provides no advantage to the empire whatsoever. Many are calling for us to move to a republic, but because we're an absolute man monarchy, we're able to move our candidates in and out as we see fit. You would have to excuse the noise in the background, my friends, because you probably know who that is. Let's end the turn, see what happens here. Britain. Now why... Now where exactly are they going to be moving to? Britain is gearing for war here. But where are they going to be going to with that war? That is a huge amount of fleets. My goodness me, look at the naval forces here of Britain. That is scary. How is pale into significance here? And that they, look at that, they're straight away. They're, ah, <laughs> and there it is. The fight that we've been waiting for here. Look at that, this army is not prepared here. We've got 3,787 here against 5,693. And they're bringing in some exceptional troops here. Marines. Lots of Marines. Royal Hungarian Guard. Royal Hungarian Grenadiers. I mean, that is a sizable force. They're moving in here. And Lancers as well. We have a, oh, we have a fantastic f force here. But this force is not up to shape here at the moment. But that doesn't mean we can't back away. We're not going to back away here from this fight. Let's bring in the forces we need here to defend ourselves adequately. Look at that Spanish Infanteria, the Marina, wonderful forces here. We're we'll losing Marine Grenadiers as well. We need to bring in the artillery last, if possible. 262, 255, 244, 213, 147, 12, gentlemen, 126. Now that is a wonderful reinforcement. We've got some good forces moving in here. We we do have the fire support, but not a huge amount. Then again, my, neither do the Austrians, excuse my friends, but it looks like we're going to draw in a significant amount of forces here. Mo all of the Hungarian garrison, this additional lancers here, everything is going to be thrown into this battle. If we can defend this battle here, it gives us a perfect opportunity to really crush in the Ven Vienna garrison. Went to that tip. That's, that's slightly in their favour. Let's take this fight, my friends. The fight of the first, probably not the last fight of Vienna. Let's do this. And what a battle this will be. This will decide this will decide the fate of Vienna, of course, but these armies involved as well. They've taken us a long time to really put together here, but they have become real veterans. Real veterans here. Battle hardened troops here. 
who have seen many battle. The one army we're fighting with here has indeed been the advance guard, the spearhead of our operations here from Rome to Vienna itself here. As you can see, a sizable deployment zone here. But then look at this, the no man land is very, very small indeed. They're right on top of us immediately. And they've got this hill here, which gives them advantage. And look at the size of the deployment zone. That is huge. We are going to have to put ourselves, I think, potentially... And this is the road here, I believe. Yes, it is. We're going to put ourselves... We could always use this flank here, using the buildings to hold our flank. But be wary, they do have reinforcements coming in. I, I think we're going to probably use this this hill here, this this slope here, as where we're going to set up our fire support. We are also going to put our general in here, we, Gen Men General Mendoza. Now we don't have a massive amount of fire support, but on the hill here, I know that many of you are saying, man, I put your regiments of artillery here in the actual front line. We don't have much. So I'm going to put it on the hill here. I know we don't need to have that elevation for them, but at this at this particular fight, I want we want to preserve as many troops as we possibly can here. So we want them to come to us. We do have Carassiers. Excuse any noise there, my friends. You can probably guess who that is. We do have a Spanish two. Of our finest three, I beg your pardon. We've got second, fourth, and third. I'm going to put the second regiment here. I think we'll also put the 3rd Regiment here, on the right. We'll put the 4th Regiment on the left here. Now that is a very, very strong central defensive position. Oh, look at that. That's an absolute wonder to see. Look at that. We do have some wonderful... I think we'll put our cavalry so that we can be used to repel because we are going to probably be looking at a significant reinforcement coming in immediately off the line. Got fusiliers here, three, four regiments of fusiliers. I think we'll put we'll put the 47th regiment here on the right. Now of course we can a deployment zone here, the demarcation line is here. So we can fit them in and also here as well. So we're gonna be Looking, I think what we will do is we'll actually send troops out. We'll send some regiments out as well, I think. We shall also include some fusiliers in that. We've got the... We have a regiment of Desalonia here, I believe. Oh, Desario, regiment of Desario, I beg your pardon. There it is. <coughs> I think we'll put these gentlemen here. And they will be moved into proper position once the deployment ends. I think we'll also send our cavalry out on a mission here to... Tail. Any incoming forces? We'll send us some. I think we will send three, three to four regiments out on one of the flanks here to help deal with what's going on here. We've got the eighth and ninth. Uh, we definitely need some calm, gentlemen. The blazes is going on here. Fire your orders, gentlemen. Fire your orders. For goodness sake, gentlemen. Thank you. Now. I think we'll have these four regiments here. Probably going to be. Oh no, are they hidden? They are hidden indeed. Are these hidden? No, they're not. And they're still not hidden. I think we'll have these regiments moving out. We're going to try and crush in one of the flanks here. We'll set these four regiments here. Now, as you can see, that still leaves us with a significant amount of regiments expatriates here. I think we'll definitely have some of these in Fusiliers. We'll send some, we'll use some of these for reinforcements. So we'll put them here for the meantime. They're not going to stay here. We will sort of expand our our lines here to increase our lines and move them along here. We shall move them along here as well. I'll move along the demarcation line here. Excuse any noise in the background my friends.
37th expatriates. When did we send out? Actually, we will send the 50th Regiment of Fusiliers out with these. We're going to push very aggressively here. We have to be careful that we help map reinforcements for when their reinforcements arrive. As you can see here, we do have significant numbers of troops available. We will simply put them here and then we shall deal with this and move them into the right areas once the deployment ends. We've put ourselves into a tight corner here, but that's on purpose. We want them to come towards us. We have the hill, we have the slope, we have the advantage, we have the elevation in our favour. Let's enter turn you, my friends, and let's enter deployment, shall I say, and let's see what happens here. They're coming in from that angle there, and they're also coming in from there as well, I believe, from the village. Got an explosive shell here. Oh, good grief! Would you look at that? Let's not panic. Let's put ourselves in the proper proper place here. So our cavalry's already being caught up here. Look at this, we've already got them here. We're going to wait for them to go past. So, gentlemen, that, that's, the trap has been sprung. Gentlemen, move! Double time! Set these gentlemen to fire at will here. Oh, look at that, we've caught them on the hop here. Beautifully. Get back in square, lads. Cease fire, cease fire. <laughs> Steady lads. Gentlemen, hold. Good grief, look at the reinforcements coming in here. Are they broken? Oh my goodness me, this is an absolute bloodbath, sir. Time to reinforce. Cool. 
we do, what an absolute battering we took there. That was probably not the best plan here. Right, let's reinforce this front line here. Let's move out. We're going to take we're going to take the fight to these Austrians here. Lost that cavalry there, but they held up well there, sir. Absolutely crumbled. Look at that. They've got all these regiments moving in now. What a fight that was on that particular flank there. Good grief, sir. And they've still got a huge amount of reinforcements to be moving in here. <laughs> and so do we, sir. And so do we. Them on the hop here, they'd be absolutely fantastic. It really would. Looks like they're moving towards us here. Actually, no, we'll move these gentlemen back. This is not going to go well. This is not going to go well. time gentlemen this is not a if we can defeat these if we can really strike a blow against these here it really would put us in a fantastic position we've got Alexander Ortiz here but they've got a huge amount of forces coming off the line we've got to strike we've got to hold these up here Let's try and drag them into different positions here. Let's strike them in the flank. That's it, lads. And for the charge. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, sir. <clears throat> oh, this is more like it. We'll pull these grenadiers up immediately here to form a brand new line here. We've got Crassiers. Who are going to join this fight? Reef. 
reform, lads. Oh, what the blazes is going on here? Go oh, Hungarian Grenadiers. If we can remove those from the fight, that would be a wonderful victory for us. here. That's going to be a real tough ask here. Yes, we've got more forces moving into the area. Got to deal with this Hungarian grenade. Oh damn! No, nope, we can't. We must focus here. We've got to really put an, a, the sword through these forces. I'm shattered, John. We need them shattered. We need them shattered. Come on, lads. Into those marines, lads. That's more like it. Now. Oh, Spanish infantry. Excellent. Let's get these here. We're going to form a very solid line here. Very solid line. Here, like some cavalry charges, sir. Come on. More of them, sir. Put them to the sword. Oh, that's more like it. Straight into the Marines. They're shattered. Don't let them reform! Don't let them reform! Let's set ourselves up for this fight now. We, little, we just we struggled a little bit at the start because they just came in with everything they had there. But can we now move into position here? That's more like it, lads. Well done. As soon as these forces are ready, we're going to pin some move these gentlemen. They've got a lot of forces coming off the line here. A huge amount of forces coming off the line here. Oh, what the blazes! Oh, we left rather, rather prematurely here.
But we've got to deal with these forces here. We've got to put an end to these forces. Not be just don't do not be strolling do not be strolling that's more like it lads well done They're on the move. Oh, well, ain't that's well, ain't it? Oh, gentlemen, this slow advance will not suit us at all. It got hat gone. Lads, they're shattered. Oh, they all worked out. Look at that, they got absolutely vanquished there. here that was a real hard but we took a lot of grenadiers with us and they've taken some hits there as well that's good to see excellent let's get these men in the fight because they've still got a huge amount of forces coming off the line here I'm going to establish a second line I think here let's put them into this part here Goodness me, look at the sheer magnitude of the forces here coming off the line. This is going to be a, a, a real hard fight, this is going to be. Well done.
face into the fight, sir. Look at the number of troops coming in off the line here. This is absolutely staggering. I think we're going to cut them off at the pass here. What a fight this has been. Yes, well done, lads. Got to, we've got to move and adapt our forces here as the situation arises, but look at how we disrupted this here. Looks like they're going to try and intercept us here. Those are a wonderful strike there, sir. Don't break them, lads. That's it. Look at this fight here. Now they're up against Marines. Regiment of the Silva. Sevilla. Regiment of the Soria. Oh, what a wonderful fight. This has been an absolute bloodbath here, sir. Closing, closing on them. Give them nothing, lads. Give them nothing at all. That's it. No. There. They've been an absolute wonder. Look at that. They have not moved at all. They've stood strong and tall here in face of almost overwhelming odds. Look at these. Look at these grenadiers. The first regiment here. Look at that. Rising to the flank of these fusiliers. What a fight this has been here for Vienna. Gentlemen, hold now. Get yourselves here, gentlemen. These garrison guards are indeed men of great valor, but it would seem. These fusiliers are as tough as nails. Let's close the door. Double time, gentlemen. Double time. Let's put an end to this. What the blazes? Hey! 
Fire when ready, lads. Fire it well. In the flight to the fort. Broken by one of them shattered, please, gentlemen. Thank you. And if you would face. That's more like it. They've been pushed back. Close the box. Close the box, lads. My word, what a fight this has been. If they want to fight, then we'll oblige. Advance! At pace, lads! What a fight. Look at these fusiliers. They've performed admirably, sir. Move, we've got a war to win. My word, this has cost us dear. This has cost us dear. <sighs> Actually, I think we will just add a bit more punch. No. We'll close the door on these gentlemen here completely. Let's put an end to these Marines once and for all. And even these marines still haven't budged at all. They still haven't given up their positions. Okay, these mercenaries. Men who are fighting for gold shall not stand long, sir. <laughs> and thus it is over and they're shattered as well even better we need to deal with these demi cannons reform lads look smart your Spanish army Move, lads. We know it's cold, but that's what you've trained. Look at these. 58 men, and they still even haven't moved an inch. That is the sheer magnitude of their morale. Their morale is almost unbreakable. Look at this. What a joy to see. And utterly smashed. Utterly vanquished. Right, let's close the door on these gentlemen. Once and for all. What a battle this has been. What a battle this has been, my friends. What a fight. We wanted Venice, and we knew it wasn't going to come easy. We knew it was going to cost us heavy here, but my word, what a fight this has been. We need to remove these gentlemen once and for all now. Let's move. Well done, lads. Well done. What a fight that was. Spanish army has once again held against in unbelievable odds here. What a fight that was, my word. <clears throat> put an end, put an end to it. <laughs> yes, P 
Pyrrhic victory, sir. Pyrrhic victory. That was a wonderful fight. It really was. Look at that. We lost 3,615. So we've lost half our forces. But look at that. We absolutely butchered the Austrians. You look at the Fusiliers. What a wonderful kill ratio. 358, 361 respectively here. Each. Look at that. Infantry, infantry the Marina with. Oh my word. These troops are just exemplary, sir. And look at the combat now. Look at the echelons here. These gentlemen really are absolute battle hardened veterans now. Away with you, sir. Ah, it seems they are coming now, maybe to have a s spoiling for a fight. Indeed, it looks like the last throw here. Now we should decline the attack. Ah, but we shall soon take that fight, sir. But it promises. The Dutch room seem to be. Oh, don't you dare take... F oh, that is our city, sir. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Yeah, they can take Hungary if they wish. That is fine, but I can assure you Vienna is ours, sir. Looks like Hungary has fallen to the Dutch. Who have been rampant here. They really have been. Yeah, Hungary has fallen to them, as we thought. Poland. What will Poland do now? Don't you dare send troops into Vienna from under our nose, because we will not be amused, sir. No, they're just going to put the last... Ooh. Wait a minute. Are they at war with the Dutch here, the Poles? Because if they are, that will give us pause for thought. Sweden. To see, but we see a large cut there, my friends. The Ottoman Empire did take a while to decide what they wanted to do. Looks like Sweden really is really strong here at the moment. Very, very strong indeed. But yeah, they still hold Saint Petersburg, and as you can see, Poland still holds a great swathe of both Central, Eastern, and Russian territory here. But Britain. I wonder why Britain have got so many forces moving into position. They've got a huge plethora of naval forces available to them. Okay, we're besieged here, but it's it's only the shipyard. It's nothing too too serious at the moment. If the Austrians wish to contain that there, then so be it. Yeah, we know that is being blockaded here. We've still got 15,000 coming in. So for some reason, yeah, they've blocked. Look at this here has been hit. We could move out with this navy here, but we're able to build now and put together more naval forces. Now, we do have M Morocco for them to control as well. I think we'll make that a fishing fleet here. I think we'll also upgrade that. 4,200 that'll bring in for us here. I think we have the greatest states here. Let's really push. Oh, look at that. Iron Masters work as well. That'd be fantastic for us. And indeed, we can upgrade the port here as well. But we must replenish and repair our forces that have been fighting. Look at that. Plus one morale in battles. Plus one to command of defending. Plus one to morale. And plus one to command with leading infantry. Wonderful. We've got more forces here because they're consolidating here in the Alps. But now we've got a f our army is fully replenished. We do have a huge amount to do here. Excellent. We can actually make those into palatial estates. And again in Hispaniola here as well. We do have a massive amount to do. Commercial port. Okay, we know that's been besieged, but still. We still have a good chunk of money coming in here. A trade. Look at this, we've got so much to replenish and repair, especially in the mainland here. We have focused quite a lot here extensively upon um, our Italian lands here. That's proven proved dividends. I think we might send these gentlemen, these cuirassiers, I think into Croatia. 
just to make sure in the game. What would that do here? Oh, we can take. I think we'll take this. I know we'll take some casualties, but we need to take Vienna. I think we need to take this. We can take this. I think we should have to resolve this one. Four more turns until surrender. They'll come out towards us. Continue the siege. I'll leave. I'll leave this decision to the to the council. Do we take this now, without fighting the fight here in Vienna? Or do we prevent Vienna to come out? To Vienna to come out to us here. I think we can do is probably replenish these gentlemen here. I'll bring these here. Now oh, we've got the Dutch here as well. And that, oh, that is a strong Dutch army with a wonderful general here. That's a six-star general here and a f and a force that has conquered Hungary in one fell swoop here. We've got to be careful we take Vienna here without anybody else moving in to take it from and under our noses here because this will be the, <coughs> the high tide mark of our empire here. And we can then in start to invest. I think our infrastructure is definitely needing to be invested here. 1,200 to regional wealth. That is huge. We can repair this here. Now this army is going to hold here. They're all quite clearly moving in to try and take this. But if once we've taken Vienna, we can probably move this force here, <coughs> along here. And now we could probably strike against Stuttgart. That would just put an end here to any possible threats. We could even just quickly mop up any last remnants here of the Austrians. They do have Transylvania here, but again the Dutch are the ones that are in command here. We've This will be our, as I said, our high tide mark here. I think what we'll do is we'll just send this gentleman to Stuttgart to see what's here. Now Bavaria does have forces ready to, to repel here, but nothing of great any significance. We do now have Venice completely sealed off here, so the chances of them moving against us and us being thrown out is remote, to say the least. Um, we do have Croatian forces here. We could get metal roads here in Croatia. Do we have metal roads here? No, we don't. So metal roads are going to be invested upon here in Venice, which for some reason we don't didn't have. We do have here, so we need to make, have, make sure the infrastructure is fully up and running here. We've got palatial estates we can have here. I think we will invest here in this water mill here because that's going to give us 1,200 per turn. It also makes a statement, it also sends a statement to say we're staying here, we're not going to be moved out in any great help. We, uh, metal roads either, in Naples either. What will that give us? 1,200. I think metal roads are probably much more efficient for us here in terms of our economy because we need these roads to be at maximum capacity so we have all of this actually flowing beautifully the structure here has got to be now we don't have metal roads here in G Genoa either or Genoa but we can get wine estate which we get the wine estates here in Corsica or Sardinia I beg your pardon 1227 left here and we could upgrade this here oh my goodness me Swiss cars we can already get, Swiss grenadiers we can already get, but again, Bordy House will plus, plus three to lower to lower classes. How will they look? Oh, yes. I think we'll actually upgrade this here, just to improve that public morale here, the public order. Now, we've got to keep this fleet here to guard our main income here, but again, with this blockaded here by a sizable force, but I think we could probably take this force out with these Spanish galleons. I think we might have a naval a, a naval fight next episode because these Spanish ga galleons are more probably more than enough uh, for than these Austrian forces. We've also got a sizable army here being prepared. We don't ideally we probably need to bring in cannon into the fight. We don't quite yet have great arsenal is under construction. That will give us twelve pounders here, but we don't have the facilities for 24 pounders because we don't have gunnery school we need to move into Carcassot here to open that up and also the Admiralty should be yes the naval board isn't get oh look at that sir. The naval board will open up these additional forces especially lime juice and sauerkraut which will give us naval hospital which will also oh my goodness me and all that goes with it Santissima Trinidad you jest sir <gasps> is one of the biggest heavy first-rate ships of the line which was ever built. 
Oh no, sir, no. This is like a dream come true. 120 guns? My goodness me, this is unbelievable. One of the biggest heavy first... Oh, we have to have this ship. We have 4,100. Uh, Salvatore del Mundo. Oh, oh, oh. oh, you jest, sir, surely. I mean, this is like Christmas come early, this is... No. Principe de Osterius. What the blazes? Look at these... Look at... Oh, Real Felipe. Oh, this is an absolute joy, sir, to see. It really is. Oh, my goodness me. Let me just check the calendar, make sure it's not Christmas, because this is unbelievable. Look at that. Santissimi Tassima... Santissima Trinidad. The largest first rate ever built by any nation. We are having this ship. We are having this... Look at the hull strength. 10,000... 380. Oh my goodness me, we're having that ship regardless of cost, sir. And then the world can look out, my friends. But that is how we're going to leave it, my friends. And again, once again, the council's advice is going to be absolutely crucial here. We know we've got the Barbary states here. We do really want to move in and take Algiers to sort of connect and bring as much as North Africa as we can into under our possession. France has got this here, so it's not too bad here. They have taken the sort of the main hub here of North Africa, um, but that's still fine with us. Um, we are having to still invest. As you can see, we've still got a huge amount to invest here in uh, Italy to try and build and try and put in the, r the proper infrastructure, both militarily and economically here, to really, to really sort of make the most of what we've fought hard for. But... I'll leave this at this here. This the councils are going to decide. Do we attack this or do we just simply move in and take it? Or to resolve it, basically just move in and take this. In, just in case the Dutch move in, try and take it from us. And then we will stop. Then we will probably take a pause here of any, any further because we can't go against the Dutch. Um, they've pretty much surrounded us. The only reason, the only way we could go is either against the Dutch or we could go in against Bavaria. Or we could try and take Stuttgart by moving through our own territory here. As you can see, we could probably move through our own territory and then move down into Stuttgart here and take it. But again, we don't want to tread on any too many toes here because although we look strong here, we don't have much depth in defence here. But my friends, that is questions for another time and answers for another time. Again, I'm going to leave this in the hands of the council here. Please let me know what you think, my friends. Please get your comments down below. As always, wonderful advice. You really have guided and shaped and moulded this campaign. Once again, we are where we are because of your advice. Be under no illusions, my friends. Exemplary once again. But whatever you do, my friends, please be safe. And thank you for all your wonderful advice. And again, please get those comments coming down below. No matter how large, how small, whatever your comments may be, please get them down there, my friends, because you have no idea how much it helps. It really does. But until next time, my friends, bye for now.